Good morning, scholars. It's Miss Roberts and Miss Etheridge again, just here to talk you through your home learning for this week. So as you can see, it's still all on the school website. And if you click on primary home learning, it will take you to this page and you can see we've updated it with some more documents for you. So you've still got some lessons for your grown ups and the newest thing at the top where it says supporting your child. We've added two different picture books that are all about coronavirus and staying at home and self isolation. So you can have a little look through those by yourself if you're an older child or with a grown up and it will be quite useful for you to find out some more information about why we're at home and some ways to stay safe. We also announced last week that we've got our own Twitter page to share all of the fantastic work that you're doing at home. It's been really lovely to see several people send in work. Uh, we've got some photos up now on our Twitter page. We have a look here. So we've got uh, some summaries of the recent TT Rockstars champions. And we've also got some pictures of people who've been working at home doing some really great work. So keep sending those things in to primary Twitter at arcjunkeatsacademy.org and just remind your parent or whoever sends it in that they need to just include this bit of text to say that they give us permission to share your work. We've also updated our YouTube channel and you can see there's lots more things going on there and as you're going to see lots more uploaded over the next few days. So if you click this link, it will take you to the channel and you'll see this is where this video is going to be, primary home learning updates. Miss Bed, we're very lucky, did an assembly this week and she's going to do one each week and that'll be on this tab that says assemblies. You've still got the chance to listen to a story. So if you're in early years, all of your stories are in a separate tab because your work is based on it or you've got the AJK story time. You've got Mr Etheridge's marvellous maths where he's been doing and working through the answers for you and then you can see the uploads at the bottom. It's just where you've got everything and there's going to be more and more on there. So keep up to date with it, maybe get a grown up to subscribe to it and then you'll see every time we've uploaded something. OK. We've also um, updated some of the activity links. So just a reminder, if you're stuck with things to do or you're looking for something else to keep you occupied, then have a click on this link. There's lots of ideas for things you can be getting on with. And we've also found um, Enfield schools have, have started a short story competition. So if you click on these links, you can see there's the information here, then the sort of criteria, the rules for year one, two, three, four, five and six and an application form. But if you're looking for something as well, a bit more challenging to get stuck into, then this would be a great thing to have a look at and and have a go at. So if we click on one of the year group links, let's click on year three, for instance, and you go to this page. We've again, we've got the suggested timetable here. Change that as you as you need. We've also put back up the independent reading questions. So that's your bronze, silver and gold questions. So when you're doing your independent reading every day, choose one of these questions and try to answer it. OK, fantastic. And then you've got your English and you can see it's exactly the same structure. And some people have asked us about how to check their English work. You have got the answers in there with you every day. So you can see for the reading, you've got the text where it says questions, but if you click on answers, that will help you mark it yourself. So if you scroll down, it looks the same because I've put the text on, but you've got all of the answers there. So either you or an adult can check it through, see why you got it right or wrong, see if you can find that evidence in the text. And it's the same with the writing. So if we have a look at the writing ones now, you've got the activities for day one. So you've got your grammar, your spelling, year six, you've also got vocabulary and year two, you've got handwriting. And then if you click on writing day one answers, I will have put in red the answers there for you. OK, so you can have a look through them, check it. They might not be because of writing is a bit more subjective. They might not be exactly the same as what I wrote, but it will give you an idea about if you were close or not. OK, Mr Etheridge, the maths. Same with maths, just a reminder that um, the, all the tasks either have a video you can watch to help you or the answers written underneath. So this one, for instance, you can see it says complete the questions in your book and then click on this link to check your answers. If you click on the link, it's going to load a YouTube video of me explaining all the answers for you to check. Uh, if I just show you one that has the answers written in, this one, for instance, if you scroll down, here's the questions. And then if you scroll down, all the answers are underneath. So you or a parent can mark that work. We've also got the wider curriculum, and I think it definitely brought Miss Etheridge and I so much joy to see some of the photos of these things coming into the Twitter. And you can see there's lots of different things. There are some videos where you can learn to draw just like the illustrator of the Gruffalo. 
the National Theatre on their YouTube channel are putting lots of plays on. So even though we can't go out of the house, we can still go on a trip to the theatre. And I recommend the Treasure Island one is amazing. You've got some science experiments. Talking to Year Six, they're really enjoying Audible and they're listening to a story while they're making some cakes or doing some gardening. You've got some cooking. You've got a lot of mixture. And what we would like is for you to send in your photos when we're done so we can see them and we can share them and celebrate them for you. OK. Fantastic. So I think that's everything from us for this week. So have a really great time. Do keep sending in those pictures of you, all your fantastic work mm -hmm. you're doing at home and stay safe and take care. Bye bye from us. See you later.